considering a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, but worried about which property you'll have to sacrifice and which property will be exempt? Or are you thinking about a Chapter 13, but not sure if you'll be able to afford the payments based on which property is exempt or not? Today, I'd like to share a little bit about the exemption laws and help you understand which property you get to keep out of bankruptcy and why. Hi, I'm David Candler Hicks of the Alliance Legal Group. We are a Florida-based law firm that focuses on helping clients facing bankruptcy. Many of our clients are interested in pursuing bankruptcy, but are afraid of losing certain key pieces of their property, or have concerns that they will not be able to afford a repayment plan because certain properties may have to be paid off. So let's discuss which property is exempt in bankruptcy and why. Bankruptcy exemptions are an important part of both Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 bankruptcies. In Chapter 7 bankruptcy, exemptions determine which properties you get to keep and which you may have to sacrifice so a trustee can sell it to pay off your unsecured creditors. In a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, exemptions determine how much you will have to pay to non-priority unsecured creditors through your Chapter 13 plan. There are a number of rules that determine your potential personal property exemptions in a Florida bankruptcy. For example, Florida has a vehicle exemption of up to $2,000. If your car is worth less than $2,000, then your car is exempt. On the other hand, if your car is worth $15,000 and you still owe $10,000, the trustee could sell the car, pay off your $10,000 car loan, and use the remaining $5,000 to satisfy any unsecured debts. There are also some administrative costs associated with selling your property. So if it's not worth significantly more than the exemption amount, the trustee may not bother trying to sell it. A couple of the most common exemptions are the home one lives in, or their homestead, and their daily driving car. Do you have more questions about exemptions applicable to your situation? At Alliance Legal Group, we've helped many of our clients find clarity in the bankruptcy process. We'd be happy to discuss the circumstances of your situation in a free, no-obligation consultation. I'm David Candler-Hicks of Alliance Legal Group. Have a wonderful day.